Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be looking at some of the slice operations that can be done on a string. What I mean by slice operation is, let's say if I want to extract some portion from a given string, or let's say if I want to split my string into multiple strings on the basis of a delimiter, or let's say if I want to just take out a particular character from a string using the index of that particular character. So how I can do all these kind of operations, we will be looking in this lecture. So let's initialize a string. Let's say I have a string which says New York is an amazing city, right? And from this string, I want to extract York, which is this part of the given string, right? So how can I do that? In order to do this, I'll use another string, let's say string two, okay? And I perform an operation called substring on the given string. As you can see, it intakes a beginning index and an end index, right? So beginning index will be that index from where the required string starts in the given string. Let's say our required string is York. So it starts at a position 0, 1, 2, 3. So it starts at position 3, right? And it ends at 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. So it ends at index 6. So we will provide the end index at 7 because the end index is an open index. It trims the string of position less than what you give as the end index, right? All right, so now if we try to print string two, let's see what it prints. As you can see, it has printed yolk. All right, so let's try to look at a different version of same substring method. So for that, let me initialize the string, string three, and I'll use the same string, dot substring. It only takes a beginning index, right? So let's say I use the beginning index as three in this case. And let's print it. So you can see that this time it has printed York is an amazing city because index three starts from here, the character Y. So it starts from here and it will go all the way till the end of the string, right? So this is how the substring will behave if you only give the beginning index. All right, so this was how you can extract a particular string from a given string, right? All right, so now let's look at another operation which will be useful in splitting the strings. So let's say I have a string like this, right, which says, hard work pays but as you can see between different words i have a hash symbol so what if i want to split my string using hash as a delimiter so i can do that using a method dot split right and i'll provide the delimiter as hash but this split method returns an array as you can see if i just mouse over it returns an array as you can see it returns an array right so i have to assign it to an string array let's say name that as a temp array right so and now if we try to print the contents of this array i'll be using an advanced advanced for loop let's 
let's say I print X simply so let's see what it prints now as you can see it has split the string and assigned this to an array so heart goes at 0th index of this array work goes at first index of this array and pays goes to the second index of this array right so this is how the split operation works so last thing that we're going to see in this lecture is how you can take out a particular character from a given string as we know that every character in the string has an index associated with it that is the first character has an index of zero second has one and so on right so let's say if i print like string one dot care at as you can see that it intakes an index value let's say if i type seven what should it print let's say type five what should it print let's run the program in my opinion it will run r as you can see it has printed r because the position of r in this string is 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 right so this is how the char at operation works in java so using these methods you can uh, perform the slice operations on the given string and this is how far we're gonna go in this lecture. Thank you.